Jordan was a very fun-loving young gentleman. He was always full of life and to him life was wonderful and he lived his life in the moment. He he would be there for you in a heartbeat and you know no matter what time or no matter what day it was he was he was always there for you. The knock on the door came about 3 30 in the morning and there was two people standing at my door while Brian answered the door and he they came in and they didn't say too much and then they just said there was an incident. I mean, I said, an incident? What do you mean an incident? Is Jordan dead or alive? Well, we can't tell you that. All we can tell you is that he has no vital signs. And then we had to go through all the horrific stuff that any parent does not have to do is to make arrangements to bury your child. My brother Jordan Fram was working with Jason Chenier on June 8, 2011, when a run of muck overcome the two of them and they were both killed instantly. 350 tons of muck and water and sand when they opened the gate there was there's a lever to open a gate because I guess it was blocked all of a sudden there was like it was like a huge explosion I definitely do think someone should be held accountable should be company and supervisors management who were aware of the situation have known about it for years and in the instance with Jordan and Jason this accident had happened um, a very similar accident had happened a few years before at that mine um, the management at Stowe Mine knew that there's an issue with water and those issues had never been rectified if companies were held criminally accountable for their actions this incident would never have happened people would have taken more responsibility to make those changes if, if they knew that their lives were on the line as well you know if they knew that they could go to jail as opposed to their company with these deep pockets simply paying a fine that means nothing to them. We continue this fight for for our neighbors, for our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our fathers. We never want somebody to, to feel that hurt again and we want to make those changes. And we know that Jordan would want that as well because that is something that he would do. He would fight 